Welcome to the VMware Cloud PKS demo. In this video, I am going to show you how you can start to monitor your Kubernetes cluster and microservices using Prometheus. Prometheus is a powerful framework built to solve challenges of monitoring microservices unique to Kubernetes. For this demo, um, I have pre-deployed a cluster called Web Services. Uh, this is a, a very small development cluster with one master node and uh, one worker node. And uh, I'm going to use this cluster to deploy Prometheus. Now there are a few different ways to deploy Prometheus. And I'm going to leverage the, the Prometheus operator to perform the initial install. And uh, I will leverage the custom resource definition as part of the Prometheus operator to deploy the full Prometheus stack, which includes the alert manager, Grafana for dashboarding, metric exporter, and a few other Prometheus components. Now let's get started. Let's log into the cluster and uh, let's take a look at the cluster size. And uh, this is the definition of the development cluster, one master node and one worker node. So this matches our expectations. Now let's, um, the first thing we do is let's create the, uh, add a repo for the core OS. And this is where um, our um, Prometheus uh, operator uh, will be installed from. Um, so the once the repo is added, uh, let's create a namespace called um, monitoring and uh, uh, we are going to create the operator uh, in the monitoring namespace. Once the namespace is created, let's create the operator. So let's take a look. Yep, it is running. So the, now the operator is deployed. Uh, we're going to go ahead and um, leverage the custom resource definition of the operator to deploy the rest of the uh, Prometheus stack, uh, which includes the um, the alert manager, Grafana, the external exporter, and uh, the cube um, metrics. Now I'm going to show you how you can access the Prometheus services. Um, now I'm going to show you in two different ways. The first way is more for your own um, handy lab use. Um, and the second way is more like if you deploy in production, you have other people and they need to access the dashboard as well. right? So the first way is th through a port forwarding rule uh, using the Kubernetes CTL command. And the second way is deploying a load balancer in front of uh, all the, the Prometheus pods and then expose a um, IP address uh, that's routable externally and then having the load balancer redirect the traffic to the various internal IPs. So let's let's first take a look at the um, the port status. Everything's running fine. Now let's redirect the traffic, the alert manager. So this is the pull forward command. Basically it's pointing against the namespace and pointing against the pod and then with the port number. And once this is enabled, now you can just copy and paste this which is a loopback address with the port number and paste that into your browser. Here we have it. We have all the different type of alerts uh, that's being registered. And uh, let's look at how we can deploy a load balancer. To create a load balancer, um, I created this YAML file and uh, and this is um, for demonstration purposes only. And uh, it basically is you have a selector that points to the Grafana pod, uh, the label that matches the Grafana pod, and then you have your ports. And then the type is load balancer. Use a cube kettle command against this load balancer, will take a few minutes to create. Now let's check on the status of the load balancer to see if it's created already. And here is the IP address of the load balancer. And I'm going to copy and paste this address into the browser, just like what I have done in the past with port forwarding and uh, specify port 3000 after the URL. There are some dashboards that we can take a look at. For example, 
the cluster status, the deployments in this cluster. This is our namespace. Um, as time goes on, obviously there's not much metric going on, but if you wait for an hour or so, um, there should be a lot more data for us to view. And this concludes our demo. I hope you find this demo to be very useful. And um, feel free to try this on your own VMware Cloud PKS cluster.